Hey everyone, I'm Reese. This is Amy. Today we have for you a 20 minute hit full body workout. In this workout, you can expect a skater to jump squat, triple climber, alternating reverse lunge, a single leg glute bridge to sit up, and a squat thrust with a wide squat. We're gonna get it started with a quick warm up and then we're gonna get right into it. Let's get it going with some seal jacks, 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go, let's get those arms wide. Nice medium pace, we're just getting that heart rate going. Loosening up the body. Nice. If you need to modify, feel free. Just move those arms. We just step those feet out. As long as you keep moving, I'm happy. Get it going. Five seconds left. In three, two, one. Good. Turn on your mat. We're just gonna go with some butt kickers, okay? We have two ways of doing this. I'm gonna do the slow way. If you need a modification that's low impact, Amy's gonna keep it going. Nice, good intensity. Get up, you're about halfway done. Feel free to switch off between the two. In five, four, three, two, one. Meet at the base of your mat. You're gonna go into an inchworm. So just hinge at the hips, walk it out. Now from here, I want you to bring that right leg forward. Give me a hip open and twist. Bring it back. Left foot comes forward. Hip open and twist. Bring it back and walk it back. We have about 10 seconds left on the clock. Just let's get one more rep in. Got three, two, one. Stay in that position. Let's just go with some mountain climbers, okay? Remember, this is just the warm up. So if you need to, just bring those feet right up the middle. Nice and slow, walking it out. Nice, 10 seconds left, push through. If you wanna pick up the pace for that last little bit, feel free to do it. You have three, two, and time, nice. Take 60 seconds, grab some water, shake it out. We're gonna do that warm up one more time and then get into that circuit. Great job, everyone. Make sure you're feeling loose. We're gonna do one more round of that warm up, and then we're gonna get into that workout. Let's get it going. Back to those seal jacks in three, two, and time. Let's get it. Remember, nice, medium pace. Keep breathing here in through the nose, loosening up the body. Nice. 20 seconds left. Remember, if you need to, you need to modify, try and get one at a time. Keep the body loose, you can go two at a time. Keep moving, keep it going. You have five, four, three, two, and time. Time for those butt kickers. Remember, you have two ways of doing this. You can either step it out the way I am, or run it out the way Amy is. Feel free to take time if you need to stretch right here, pull. Stretch right here, pull. Keep that body moving. Nice light sweat by the end of this, right? 10 seconds left. Then you have that inch inchworm to hip opener twist. In three, two, and one. Let's go walk it out, hinge of the hips. Feel that stretch. Walk it out, right foot forward. Open, back, left foot. Open, down, back, walk back. Take a deep breath, halfway there. Try and get one more rep in. And we have those mountain climbers. In three, two, one, let's get it. Right up the middle, 
can walk it out. Core is engaged. Shoulders are right over those wrists. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 10 more seconds left on the clock. Push through. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, grab some water, stretch out whatever you need to. You have 60 seconds to relax. Then we're getting into that circle. All right, we're gonna get started with that workout. You should be nice and warm, all right? We're gonna get it going. We have a circuit of six moves, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, with a 60 second rest in between each round. We're gonna get three rounds of this, all right? So let's get ready. We're gonna start with that skater to jump squat, all right? Take a second, try and get that movement in your body, and then really dial into it. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Skater, skater, jump squat. Now, I'm gonna keep my hands here. Amy is going to move them around, all right? Whatever is more comfortable for you, as long as you're moving. Nice. Keep it going. We have those unilateral movements. Followed by that. Nice. Make sure you're keeping light on those toes, all right? That's key for this movement. 10 seconds left on the clock. Five, four, three, finish that rep, and one. Nice, 15 seconds left, shake it out. We're gonna hit the mat, push up position. We have a triple climber. So if you don't know what this move is, just follow along, I'll go slow at first, and we'll get into it. Get it going, and right knee comes to right elbow, up the middle, opposite elbow. Plant that foot, left, middle, left across. Keep it going. Make sure those backs are straight. Core is engaged. You're up in that 10 second window, so push through. In five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. 15 seconds left of that rest. And then we're going to get into our next move, which is an alternating reverse lunge. Stand it up. Five seconds. And take that right leg back. Now I'm going to keep my hands here. If you want to challenge yourself like Amy is, you're going to bring your hands overhead. Another way to do this, hands on the hips. Make sure that knee stays in line with that toe. You're not buckling side to side. Take your time on these. You can use this as an active recovery. Nice, keep it going. You have about 15 seconds left, so push through. And three. Two, one, nice job. Now you're gonna lay back. We have a single leg glute bridge with a sit up. We're gonna start with that right leg first. So let's put that right leg in the air. In three, two, one, bridge up, and then sit up. Abs and glutes engage. Nice. You should really feel this in the leg that's anchored down on the floor. Yeah. Ten seconds left on the clock. Eight. 
in three, two, one. Nice. I definitely felt that. How about you, Andy? Yeah, definitely started to burn. Yeah. All right, you have about 10 more seconds left on this rest, and then you're gonna go with that left leg in the air, all right? Push through, I know we're tired, but we're almost done with the first round. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Bridge up, sit up. Use that leg as a counterweight. Back straight, chest up. Working the right leg now. should be feeling this in your glute and your hamstring. When you come up, you should be anchoring with your abs. About 10 more seconds left on the clock. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Last move we have in this circuit, we have a squat thrust with a wide squat. Get ready. Couple more seconds left on this rest. Now when we say with this wide squat, all I want you to do is when you jump back, land right here, all right? I'll show you how it's done in three, two, one. Touch down, back, land wide. Everything should be hurting now. Remember, this is a full body workout. So push through. Nice. Push through. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice. You have a one minute rest, so grab some water, stretch out, whatever you need to do. Coming back for round two of that circuit. Great job on round one of that circuit. We have two more rounds, right? So we're coming up on round two. Shake it out, get ready, get it going. We have those skaters to jump squats, okay? In three, two, one, let's get it. Remember, be light on those toes. Now, if you need to modify, what you can do is you can go right here, step it out, step it out, find that squat position, and squat deep, all right? The main key here, you're moving that body, you're hitting those unilateral movements, followed by that full body squat, all right? Let's get it going. 15 seconds left, let's push through. You have five, four, three, finish that rep, and one, nice. We're gonna hit the mat, push up position, coming up, on those triple climbers. Now remember, if you can't do this move, I'm gonna show you another modification that you can do and we can bring it back to that warm up mountain climber. Let's get it. Modification. important to keep your back straight and your core is engaged the entire time. That breath is still going. 10 seconds left. Push through. One more rep each side. In three, two, one. Bring it down. Catch your breath. Nice. We're going to stand it up. We have those alternating reverse lunges. Remember, you can do them here, here, or 
hands overhead for a challenge. Get it going. Hips in line, back straight, chest up, and breath is going. Feeling good, Amy? Feeling really good. Out of breath a little. <laughs> good. <laughs> Remember, this is a HIT workout. That's high intensity interval training. So you're gonna make sure that you're pushing as hard as you can for those 45 seconds so you earn those 15 second rests. Five, four, three, two, and time. Nice. I'm gonna lay it on back. We have that single leg glute bridge followed by a sit up. Three seconds left. Leg up and bridge. Very easy to slide around on this move. I find that I do that sometimes. The key here is to make sure you're anchoring. And there's no problem if you need to just readjust yourself so that you're staying on that mat. Keep it going. You have about 15 seconds left. Just readjust. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. 15 seconds rest. Make sure you sit up, okay? You want to get that oxygen in. Grab a quick, quick sip of water. You have 10 seconds left. And then we're going with the left leg. Get it going in three, two, one. Bridge, sit up. Keeping those backs straight, that chest up when you sit up. I know we're tired, but we can't compromise on it for them. That's how we get hurt. Remember, if you need to, readjust, bridge, up. Keep it going. Less than 10. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, 15 seconds rest. We have the last move in our circuit, which is a squat thrust with a wide squat. So get ready, whatever you need to do, 45 seconds on. And then you have a one minute rest. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Remember, high intensity intervals. So push through as tired as we are. Keeping that breath going. Landing wide. You have about 10 seconds left. Push through. You have five, four. Get one more up in three, two. Sneak one more and nice. One minute rest. Catch your breath. We're gonna come back for round three of that circuit. Great job on round two of that circuit. We have one last round. So I know we're tired, but shake it out, push through. Okay, we're gonna get it going. We're gonna start with those skater to jump squats. In three, two, one. Let's go, 45 seconds on the clock. Nice and light on your feet. Remember, hitting that modification. Step it out, step it out, find that squat. Key here, keep that breath going. 
We're making sure we're moving, all right? That's the most important thing. Let's get it. Keep it up, keep it up. You have five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, finish that rep. One, nice, 15 seconds rest. We're done with that move for the circuit. Now we have a push-up position, triple climber. Bring it down. Remember your modification is stepping those mountain climbers. In three, two, hold it up. Let's get it. Modification right here. Keeping those back straight. Breath is going. Shoulders are over our wrists. And the core is engaged. Ten seconds left. Try and get one more rep each side. And time. Nice, step it on up. We have those alternating lunges. Push through. Remember, we're done with that move now for the circuit. Knocking them out one by one. Five seconds, shake it out. In three, two, right leg back. Let's get it. Remember, you have three ways that we can do this. Hands on the hips. Hands right here in the middle. Our hands overhead for that challenge. Let's keep it going. If you find you can't do these lunges and you don't have stability, just hit that squat. Keep it going. Ten seconds left on the clock. Push through. Five, four, three, two, and shake it out. Fifteen seconds rest. Done with that move. Next one. Single leg glute bridge with that right leg up, followed by a sit up. So keep it going. Five seconds left in that rest. How you feeling, Amy? Oh, pretty good. Get it. Three, two, one. Bridge, sit up. Back straight, chest up on that sit up. Remember, I'll say it again if you need to readjust, if you find you're slipping on that mat, just get right back into it. Nice, keep it going. Good job everyone, keep it going. In three, two, one. Nice, that right leg's done. You have a 15 second rest. You need to grab a quick sip of water, stretch it out, whatever, these 15 seconds are yours. Remember, anchor down on that right. Find that breath side and bridge. Let's go. Remember, backs are straight on that sit-up. Readjust if you need to. And that breath is going on each move. Under 20 seconds, push through. Then we're done with this left leg. Less than 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 15 seconds. We're knocking them out one by one. Your favorite move is coming up. Squat thrust with a wide squat. Ready, Amy? Yeah. Remember, take this as you can do it, all right? It's the last one in three, two, one. Let's hit it. 45 seconds of work. Breathe at the top. We're almost there. We're almost there. Push 
push through. Push through. Less than 20. Doing good, Amy? Yeah. Woo. Let's do this. We got this. We got this. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice. One minute rest. You're done with that circuit. Great job. <gasps> Feeling good? Yeah. Woo. I'm going to come back with that AMRAP finisher. Great job on those three rounds, everyone. You crushed it. We have one final push for you, and that's that AMRAP finisher, okay? AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible, so we're gonna put four minutes on the clock. You have three moves, eight reps of each move, okay? So we have bicycle crunches, Russian twists with our feet up, and a scorpion twist, okay? Really focusing now on that core. We're burning out, okay? And we have a lot of twists and rotational moves, okay? So let's hit the mat. We have those bicycle crunches to start out, Eight reps, then Russian twists, eight reps, and scorpion twists, eight reps. Everyone ready? You ready, Amy? Let's do it. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Let's go. Feet up. Nice. And then we're hitting those scorpion twists. Nice. And right back into it. As many rounds as possible. Really focusing on that balance, that stability. Nice. We got those bicycle crunches, let's get it. Right into those Russian twists, back straight, chest up, keep pushing through. Right into those scorpion twists. Back straight, pushing through. You got this. Right back into those bicycles. Keep it going. Legs fully extended, back straight, chest up on those twists. Flipping it over, right into those scorpions. Keep it up. I know it's tough. I know we're tired. We're finishing up this hit workout. Keep it going. Keep it going.
mind over matter here. Remember, if you're tired, just slow down. We're just trying to get as many rounds as we can. That breath is going. We're almost there, almost there. Finish it up, finish it up. You need to keep those feet on the ground for these twists if you're tired. Almost there. Three, two, and time. Great job on that AMRAP. Take a minute rest. We're gonna come back with that cool down. Great job on that AMRAP. You guys are done with that 20 minute HIT workout, okay? It's a full body. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a full body cool down, all right? So I want you to meet at the base of your mat. We're just gonna take it back to that warm up. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna inchworm down, hinge at the hips, find that high plank. Now drop those hips into the ground, hitting that cobra stretch. Just take a breath here. Nice, now from there I want you to go hips up. We have downward facing dog, keeping that spine straight. And let's just touch one foot down at a time. You guys are in this stretch. So just find your breath here. Now I want you to plant both those feet into the ground. Take another couple breaths here. Great, from there, walk those hands back to your feet. Let's just hang low right here. Feel that stretch, sway left and right. If you want to, you can just cradle those arms. Shake your heads yes, nod your heads no. Nice, take a deep breath, release those arms. Let's roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, head for last. Good. Now what I want you to do, you're gonna take that right arm, bring it right across the body. Making sure that shoulder's down, finding that breath. Switch, left arm across. Nice, take that right arm, bring it back. Making sure those chins stay up, okay? I don't wanna see it buried down into your chest. Okay, those lungs are open, that chest is open. Just finding that breath. Switch it up. Chins are up, chests are open. Nice, now, shake it out. Roll those shoulders out. Shake it out, relax the body now. You guys crushed it, all right? That was a 20 minute hit full body workout, only body weight, so you can do it anytime, anywhere, all right? I'm Reese, this is Amy. For more workouts like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care.